Okay, in the previous video, I showed the unboxing of this new inbox Yardworks inverter generator. It's time to put some fuel in it. Again, this is the fuel I picked up. Like I said before, this is designed for, um, for uh, four cycle equipment that does tend to sit around for a long period of time. This fuel has a very high shelf life. So I'll get it open and uh, I'm gonna fill it up. And of course I spilled some. And I definitely will wipe that up before I uh, go and start this generator. And I'm gonna give it the full uh, can. I do have a, a load set up for this already outside and uh, and after that load I have another load set up for it as well. Okay the overflow is wiped up I wanted to do that before I put the cap on. This actually has a cutout on this side right here so if you do overfill it it comes into this little area right here and it runs it away from the controls right there. So there we go. Also, I noticed this has a vented cap. Pretty cool. So, like I said before, the entire generator will be sold with the all of its original packaging, tools, instructions, and 12 volt wires. So we're gonna get this outside and we're gonna try and start this up. It's definitely an easy unit to carry. Average person could definitely carry this around without any problems and probably get it up and running and use it for its intended purpose. I'm gonna grab a knee pad and fire it up and then use my lights here as a load once it's ran for a little bit first. Okay, fuel is on, power but power is on. I'm gonna set my phone down against probably the lights and uh, we'll see what happens here. Two, three, oh, maybe a choke it. Four. That's good. Possibly that's fuel on right there. Possibly. Try it again. Hmm. Not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, that's just DC, and that's actual generator. Nothing on this side. Nope. Definitely a cranker wanker. I'm thinking that's choke on right there. Okay, I think we'll have to come back to this. Definitely don't want to run out the video too long just pulling over a generator. I might even let it sit for a few minutes. Hopefully the fuel will uh, fill up the carburetor and we'll try this again.
it definitely took a bit to get the fuel pump to prime and I had to uh, play around with the fuel cap, figure out which way vent was open, got that. And fuel on is actually straight up. So I was actually correct whenever I first unboxed it. Um, and unfortunately I did have to use a tiny bit of liquid persuasion. So I've had the side cover off. Everything looks good in there, obviously clean, it's brand new. So it should actually fire up first pull. Yet again, I will leave the uh, first part in just to show when you get um, something that is brand new in box, it could still potentially take quite a few pulls to get it to run. Uh, just because it's brand new in box doesn't mean it's going to fire up first pull. Turn it back on. The, light, the load is turned off. It should fire right back up. High idle. Back to low idle. So there we go. power off so there we go this one is good i might try the uh 12 volt dc output i have a battery that does need to be charged and if i do um if i do want to share it i'll just post a picture probably at the end of the video so there we go i will talk to him later please keep it redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment